What's up guys, this video is all about the reverb and delay effects, the time-based effects in Ableton. So we have our sound here. Not too exciting, kind of boring, uh, but we're going to get some cool stuff in there. Uh, we're going to drop in our reverb. So the first thing about these kind of effects is it's immediately split into a dry and wet mode, right? And you have your wet-dry is a mixture between wet and dry. So dry is... Uh, nothing is happening. It's just going clean right through the plug-in, in and out. And 100% wet is, it's completely the wet signal, so it's completely the reverb. Alright, so the trick is, is just to find a balance. So, yeah, around here. Alright, so you have the, the original sound and the reverb, and it's put in there parallel-ish. And it sounds good that way uh, but you can do whatever you want so there's a few parameters on here that I want to bring your attention to uh, you have your post filter so you can select okay I don't want this plugin to process any of the low end which makes a lot of sense so we'll listen to that now right and that is it's just a pre filter before the effect so think of it as like adding a filter before the effect. Uh, spin is part of the reflections. We'll get into that later. Uh, we have our quality here. Uh, economic, mid and high. Economic. This is just uh, CPU intensive stuff. It sounds different, so economic sounds like this. And high would be different, different sound, slightly. This is the size. This is the room size of your virtual room. So if you want like a recording room, like a or like a shower, or if you want like a massive cathedral. Right, you have that. I'm actually gonna turn that off. All right. Another thing I want to bring you to is the pre-delay, and this is the sound kind of. If you clapped in a gym, uh, the sound would take a while for it to bounce off the wall and get back to you, and that's basically what this is doing. So you can hear that now. Right. Take a while for the sound to bounce off the wall and come back to you, and that's your pre-delay. Uh, our decay time is the amount that the sound is bouncing around in the room with. So uh, a shorter decay time is kind of, you know, you can't really hear it. And a very long decay time, uh, five, six, seven, seven, eight seconds. This is good to make, you know, cool trancy stabs and such. Uh, your diffusion, this is a filter for how the sound is bouncing around. So if you want like full-on diffusion, that's all well and good. If you want to kind of high pass it, you only want the high end to be bouncing around. Right? And that kind of simulates maybe uh, uh, a very dense room with like a shag carpet, like a very large gymnasium that's all shag carpet. That'd be kind of weird. Or uh, if you have a low pass, um, it would be, you know, a room that has a hardwood floor and shag carpet all over the walls. Right, so, so, uh, yeah, this is a conventional reverb. There's different kinds of reverbs that aren't in Ableton, like plate reverb, spring reverb, uh, convolution reverb is in Max for Live, but we're not using that. Uh, convolution reverb is more like a room modeling, it's impu impulse response. Yeah, uh, so you have uh, different options uh, for your reflections, which is sound bouncing off, uh, your diffusion, the sound kind of fading away. Uh, scale controls the coarseness of the diffusion. Yeah, makes sense. And density controls the diffusion network density. All right, yeah. We have another thing, it's freeze. And what this does is this, say if you had a room and the, law, the laws of physics were different and your sound it didn't, you know, bounce around and interfere with each other. The sound just stayed bouncing around the room forever and ever. That's what freeze is. Uh, you have to turn off uh, flat and cut. Right, so that'll that will uh, that'll continue forever. And that is freeze, and that basically freezes the reverb. And it's a really interesting effect. Okay, that's your basic reverb. Now let's go simple delay. All right, so this is U2. And this is kind of, it's taking 
the sound and then repeating it at a time afterwards. So right now it's uh, a quarter bar. Uh, we can have it half bar. And, uh, you know, thirds. We can have the top part right here is left and the bottom here is right. You can link them. So this is like a simple delay. And the feedback is the amount of time for that sound to reach zero again. So if you have a very long feedback, you can have like a feedback uh, delay line. 95 is very long. 100% would be like, you know, just constantly overdubbing stuff and all that. Uh, uh, dry and wet acts the same way. Uh, you can sync them or, you know, you can have a custom time, which would be like a free running uh, delay. So like 17 milliseconds kind of sounds like that. Right, sounds kind of robotic, and that is a simple delay. We have next um, 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 uh, ping pong delay. This is this is kind of the same deal, but when you when uh, you're delaying, it bounces from left to right, so it's a stereo delay. But it ha we have a filter, so you can hear it now. Right, so you hear it in the center channel, and then it goes left right. Right. This is a good way to get like very uh, a very wide sound. Uh, you can you know we'll, you can filter it out, so you you only get the the delay for the higher frequency content or the lower frequency content. But you want to do this, say if you have you know a bass that has you know some high end fanciness, and you don't want to you know have the low end bouncing around, then you do it this way. And then again, you can freeze the uh, the uh, delay with this little F button here. Uh, you can offset it. So say if you have like an ARP and it's going along, and if it's synced, it'll kind of cancel some of the notes out. And they'll overlap. So if you kind of offset this, it'll play a little bit before, a little bit after. And I'll try to give you an example of that. So right now that's playing right at the same time. So that was a little bit before, a little bit after, 33.3%. Right. And you get, you know, a neat little effect doing that. And that's ping pong delay. Same as simple delay, uh, but you alternate left and right. Okay. Uh, filter delay. Looking at my notes here. So this is more of a, it's three simple filters, uh, each with its own input. So we have left input only, and it kind of acts the same way. We still have the same delay time. We can sync it, but it's only going to the left. We can, oops, we can have it, oops. We can have just the left signal go to both signals, or we can have, the left input go to the right. And you can get some weird sounds if you have a very heavily kind of stereo sound. So we have uh, left and right here, and they're each kind of doing their own thing. You can have a different kind of psychoacoustic effects going on here, different delay times, very neat. And this is our volume here. And our feedback. So it's just three independent filters, both with different inputs. So, and then we have our center one, which is left and right, going to our center here. So you get a very uh, complex uh, uh, delay uh, for, say, translead or something else. So it really kind of spiced this up. Right. And we have uh, our dry. And we don't have a wet. We don't have a wet dry. We just have a dry. And yeah, I hope that makes a lot of sense to you. And the last one is our grain delay. Now this really isn't a delay, but it has a delay on it. Where is it? There it is. So we have our delay down here with our wet dry. 
So what this does is it takes the signal and splits it up into sections or grains and then mixes them around in a weird way. And we have uh, our pitch and all that fun stuff. So spray is, it does that. It's like a scattery effect. It's very scary. So this is this, the, the grain size amount. We also have uh, the, the size and duration of each grain. So we can have very small, very large uh, in hertz. So that's 101 times a second. We have our pitch here. We can pitch the grain size down and we can randomize the pitch. This is a randomization amount. Kind of, kind of easy to overdo, but you can get some really weird, scary textures. And feedback is the, you know, the delay amount, and we have a uh, wet dry here. And we can sync it. Right, really, really weird. Uh, so each of these has its own kind of XY controller. And you can see when we move this around, we are altering two of these at once. Very neat. So we can have uh, spray and pitch. Pitch is the bottom. Or pitch is horizontal. And uh, spray is uh, vertical. Right. Or we can simply have uh, feedback, or we can have wet, dry, and feedback. You get some really interesting effects that way. Kind of, kind of not really a time-based effect, but you can get really weird stuff out of it. And that is the grain delay, and that is uh, effects uh, over time. Uh, typically, in my opinion, it's uh, delay and then reverb. So, what happens is the delay accentuates. No, well, the reverb accentuates the delay's reflections. Right. So we have the 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 delay is more it bounces around and then the reverb kind of enhances it right or you can do whatever you want but typically i go uh delay and then reverb all right well that is uh reverb and delay time-based effects hope you learn stuff and have a good one